Hey, what's up, y'all? What's poppin'? This is Dee, boss react to this impressive video. This is Koyla Ray beefing with her daddy, and Lil Uzi exposed by his ex. JT ignores the red flags. Um, they make an interesting couple. I wouldn't think that JT would be into Lil Uzi. And it's not that he's, you know, busted or anything. I know a lot of people think he's really ugly. I don't think so. Um, so it has nothing to do with how he looks or his height. Um, just based on her music, I just would not think that she would you know, be interested in a Lil Uzi. It just, you know, it doesn't match with, you know, what she be talking about. But, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see what's going on with these people that let's watch. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive channel. Here yeah. are a couple of topics I want to talk about in this video. First, starting with this whole mess between Lil Uzi Vert and so JT right from the City Girls. Now, I'm sure some of you know Uzi and JT have been dating for the past several months and their relationship has been pretty weird to say the least. It's been pretty messy. I remember last year JT was calling Uzi toxic. I never tried this the damn my life. This is gonna be toxic, warm. I like every day. Also, Uzi claimed that JT put her hands on him. Every time JT and Uzi would get into it, they would always be throwing shots at each other on Twitter, and then they turn around and make up like nothing happened. So their relationship is pretty up and down. I think it's kind of toxic if you ask me, but people seem to find it strangely entertaining. <laughs> Now, things got a little messy yesterday because little Uzi's ex-girlfriend, Brittany Bird, basically exposed him for still trying to get back with her. Mm, she actually posted the unanswered text messages that All Uzi of them. sent God to damn, her on, with on her IG. Why is that such a thing with men? Like, they all try to come back. Like, even a long time. <laughs> after the relationship has ended it's like bro why do you even still like me i'm more concerned that you still like me like why like <laughs> move the fuck along men are just very um big on doing that story and it's on site on instagram actually took screenshots of this I but that. in the text messages uzi was trying to make it seem like he and jt weren't serious and he wasn't spending mm. money on her. Mm. Also, he said, we still together. I don't talk to her. That's why she doing that. Didn't I tell you that before? Answer the phone. Act like a kid. My grandma want me to be with you forever. Yo, I grandma. Answer. Bye, Uzi. Key. How you never treat me like a man? So Uzi was trying to get Britney's attention. Britney never responded. Good. And of course, this triggered JT. She you went on this whole Twitter rant and claimed that Uzi hasn't seen Britney since October. And that's wait, probably wait, true I, I because wanna read, it's clear uh, that Britney is ignoring hold her. Up. And that's probably wait, wait. JT. She went on. I'll be sparing you, but I had a good Valentine's Day too on the jet. Really? It's giving these hoes a need to start go for me for her. What? Uzi no one put his ass in a press. <laughs> Bitch ain't never press. Why nobody ever? He been doing you in. What, bitch? But you know, this is a little different. He wouldn't stop. I've been trying to tell you. This whole Twitter rant and claimed that Uzi hasn't seen Britney since October. And that's probably true because it's clear that Britney is ignoring Uzi. But that still doesn't change the fact that Uzi was trying to hit her up and get back with her. Not only that, another one of Uzi's Good side chicks named Sadia B came out and tweeted this while JT was ranting. She said, crazy tell self. <laughs> JT went that. under its on... Side note, y'all have to be individuals. Just because you see everybody else doing something, that doesn't mean that you should hop on it and, and do it too. Like, y'all recycle the same random slang that comes about over and over and over again. And it be old shit, too. Like, that's not even, this is, isn't even new slang. <laughs> but, whatever. Say what y'all want. Sites I'm post over and it. said, stop posting me next to that girl trying to make her a thing. She wasn't even talking about me. Those pics with her chains was before October and uploaded in December. I have a lot of time today. All y'all have me effed up. So JT was going off trying to defend her relationship with Uzi. And I find it interesting really that after Uzi's ex-girlfriend and his alleged side chick came forth, 
All of a sudden, he's claiming his love for JT and okay. calling her the chosen one. And he's posting her a lot more. And some people think that he's doing all of this to make his ex-girlfriend, Brittany, jealous. No, and I actually get believe JT. that. I think because Brittany has been ignoring him, he now wants to rub it in her then? face that he's with JT. But also, I believe that Brittany is low-key jealous of the relationship as well. Because if she didn't care, she wouldn't have posted those text messages in the first place. So it's clear that she mm. feels a way about it. Mm. Uzi was messing with JT behind her back. And now she sees that he's spending more money on JT and showing her more attention. And it's getting under her skin a little bit. But I don't think this is nothing for JT to celebrate because it still doesn't change the fact that he was trying to get in contact with his ex-girlfriend behind her back. So that should be a red flag to JT. But she doesn't see it that way. She thinks that she's the chosen one. So we'll see how this whole thing plays out. But this relationship is a mess uh -huh. now on to the next topic i want to talk about the rap artist this like the same girl. and her father that benzino we, who's known from being on love and hip-hop atlanta coyla ray and benzino oh. got into a very messy exchange on ray. social media and i'm gonna break all of that down but before i do i do want to give a backstory Koyla Ray is an upcoming all. rapper who has been making a lot of noise recently really? she's been rapping for a few years but Recently, one of her songs, No More Parties, went viral on TikTok. And this is the song that's going? been going crazy. She actually got a feature with Lil Durk on the remix. And this song became her first charting single on Billboard Hot 100. So it's a big deal for her. She's been moving up in her career. But unfortunately, this song triggered a public fallout with her father. Now, Koi and her father Whoa. have had a strained relationship for a few months now. In fact, Benzino did a whole interview with Queens Flip, and he kind of opened up about why he and Koi were at odds. He said in the interview that he didn't like that Koi dropped out of high school and started smoking weed. He was kind of upset with some of the decisions she was making and some of the messages in her music. And Koi kind of felt like he wasn't being supportive of her career. So that's one of the reasons why they were at odds. Also, Benzino was upset at the fact that Koi did an interview with Angela Yee, DJ Vlad, and Adam22 from No Jump. Okay, what are they saying? Now, Benzino has issues with all three of these people. In fact, he has issues with a lot of people in the end. Put it out there that Benzino was her father at first. But people eventually started to catch on, and she started getting asked about him in different interviews. Now, the thing that really, really got people questioning about her relationship with her father is when she took a dig at him in her song, No More Parties. And in oh, the song, she said, my daddy let me down, but I promise you, I won't let up. I won't let up. I want to say F that man, but that ish won't make me better. Make me better. So this line kind of opened up conversations about Koi's relationship with Benzino. And I know my dad. A lot of traits, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I learned from him and that I don't want to do just because of how he handles situations, how he be talking to people and how he just be wilding. But at the same time, you know, you just, I'm, I'm trying to bring me, that's the whole point of everything and what's going on now because now that I am the one with the shoes like i feel like i'm wearing the shoes now with my family like i'm mm -hmm. the one to put us back where the source is like i have the ability to do that not saying my dad can't but i am and it's going to be able to make him like he's going to look and learn through me and become a new person and that's like okay i don't care about this uh girl why are you bringing this to the forefront about you and your daddy what focus on your music why why is this the first time i'm hearing about you is the drama that you in which I'm no neck daddy. Like, girl, bye. I need to listen to her song, though. They said that it was going viral. So I want to see what it sounds like. Because, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know who she is. But, um, JT, run. Run. What? Everybody has to go through their toxic relationships. You just have to. It, it, it is an essential part of life, in my personal opinion. You're going to come across people who are trash. And you have to learn from that. So that when you move forward in your um relationships going forward you won't deal with those same traits you will now know what you deserve and you'll make better choices that is the 
Um, <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do. Not everybody does that, okay? Some people are stuck in these toxic cycles with people and they continue to date toxic people over and over again, but that's not how you're supposed to hack life. You're supposed to learn from that uh, first toxic person and avoid uh, toxic bullshit going forward. I'm really talking to myself because <laughs> I've been in a few toxic situations and it's like, bitch, why you didn't learn from, from the other niggas, you know? This was a cool video, Bacoy Girl by Y'all let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what other videos you want me to watch and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye! This damn uh, Invisalign, goddamn.